returned to find me having a power nap. Work sets you free. Refreshed, I came up with yet more ways to speed things up. You know when the trucks back up? Yeah. There's a man walking behind them. The banksman, yeah. But all trucks have got to have cameras on them now. They do as well. Yeah. So why do you need a man and a camera? That man could be better employed making roadworks. It's double protection, isn't it? If somebody's... It's, not, it's just what? Well, did you hear, though? In fairness, one bloke recently got run over by that planing machine. How interested am I in that? They only found his hand. Don't care. By half past two, the road had been sprayed with bitumen glue and was ready to receive the new layer of tarmac. This is the most critical part of the whole operation. Normally, they would reckon on laying between 250 and 270 tonnes of tarmac in a day. Now, we're going to try and lay... How much is it? 1,100 tonnes. 1,100 tonnes in a day. Uh, that's why we've got Hammond up at Tarmac's kind of quarry plant thing up near Tamworth, to make sure the supplies keep coming. The modern quarry is full of heavy plant, but actually, it's all controlled by a computer. Oh, mother. I've got aggregates, mixer lump pump. Uh, okay, stay calm. Do emails. I can do this lot. Um, Plainly, he mastered it because soon the trucks began to arrive. But unfortunately, the paving machine that lays the tarmac was being driven by the slowest person in the world. Wait, James. What? If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing quickly. No. Well. Quickly. Well. Quickly. Well. Quickly. Well. Still, overall, things were moving along nicely. Man of the D5481, things are looking good. I'm seeing machines moving about now. Yeah, it is. Uh, now, we're going to pick that up later on when, obviously, everything starts to go wrong. Uh, now, though, now it's time to put a star in our reasonably priced car. Now, since uh, our guest tonight first came on the show, he launched a campaign to improve school dinners and has become really a saint. He now wields more political power than a president. He glides through Hollywood parties like a film star. Interestingly, though, he still talks like he's eating a pillow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jamie Oliver! Nice of you to come back. Thank you very much. Really good. 